Big changes could be coming to bus routes around Hillsborough County that will either make your commute shorter or you may find need to find a new way home. Our Brenda Lee Gonzalez is live in Tampa with the reason that leaders at heart say the changes are really necessary out there. Brenda Lee. When more than 3,000 people depend on this one bus route every single day here along Hillsborough Avenue and leaders at heart want to keep it that way, but that could mean getting rid of other routes in the process. Not even this rain. I'm very dependent on the buses. Will stop these riders from waiting nearly 30 minutes for their bus. I use them every day. That wait could be cut by half this October as leaders at heart consider overhauling their bus routes. It's the year that, that Tampa is redefining what it means to be a transit agency um, that, play, that sets us up really well for a very successful future. Hart CEO Catherine Egan admits bus ridership is going down nationally. So they're focusing on adding more buses and direct trips to their more popular routes. But you can never do a bad job by trying to make it attractive for a new market if that makes it more attractive to the market you're already serving. That would come at a price, though, as they consider eliminating seven of the least popular routes, like Route 4 and Hyde Park. And the reality is, if we've got one area that might not have service versus the entire network not having service past 10 p.m., we have to make that tough decision. Back at Route 34, Hector Machado welcomes the changes. Anything, any other improvement they could do would be very uh, appreciated. Because here, any extra minute makes all the difference. That would help me a lot because I'm trying to get home as soon as possible. Leaders at heart agreed and voted to get public input during June and July from people before making their final plan in August. Reporting live, Brenda Lee Gonzalez, ABC Action News.